Everyone, this is a video for Legend of Mushrooms by Theria. Going to go over the Archer build today. There's two Archers. Let's look at the different classes right here. Shadow Sniper and Wind Crossbower. They end up being the Sacred Hunter and the Plume Monarch. Is there a difference between them? Everyone seems to think the Crossbower right now, 30-something days into the game, is OP and way better. But they really are basically the same. Uh, crossbower is the fastest attacker in the game. And the Shadow Sniper, or his vine there, ending up the Sacred Hunter, is the strongest attacker in the game. They both need basically the exact same skills and to complement them. They need the exact same pals. They need the exact same skills on the gear. The only difference is you would want a little bit more combo on the crossbow because the crossbow is attacking really fast. So that combo is going to give him multi shots more often and combo damage to go with it. And then the sharpshooter, because he's attacking so strong, you want to multiply that at higher rates with a little bit more crit. So that's really the difference. But for the most part, the build is exactly the same. Let's look at the different gear here. You want combo on everything. You can see that I basically do have combo on everything. I won't show you the gold ones because they're about half half because, you know, I'm just trying to get Aura's gear at this point. But most of them do have combo on it. Anyways, this is basically a perfect one that you would want. So combo and skill crit. Some people favor crit rate. Some people favor skill crit, but combo by far is number one. It needs to be on every piece of gear. If you have a piece of gear that has skill crit and crit rate, let's get into uh, relics. And these are my, let's go to my PVP ones. So right here, I have Arrow King Mask. You're going to have that on PVP or against monsters because it's combo. And that's what you want. I used to use... This one, the kite, and I like it because when you use when you enhance it, the damage goes up. And if you don't know what you're going to be uh, use, you don't know what your skills are, that sort of stuff. Then it is pretty solid to use. This one I've I've recently switched to, and basic attacks of the dragon turtle or lizard pal have a twenty percent chance to deal damage equal to half a percent of their own HP. I uh, I just finally got unlocked the pink uh, treasure dragon and I think he's really really important to use so I'm trying this one out but I used to use the kite and I did like it now over here this one you basically have two options I like this because I just don't think there's very many options for resistance in the game and I just want to have just a little bit more of it but I am playing around with uh this one right here and you can see i have leveled it up a little bit at the start of the battle increase attack by one percent up to ten percent here to be honest uh i've been messing around just playing with all sorts of different stuff because i'm using all sorts of inferior pals because i don't have one but this is the one you need you need it to be on octopus if you are an archer this is a must own pet i don't have the octopus i've had terrible luck and I'm just inferior with this relic, but this is the relic you need to use here because the octopus is basically, along with the banana, the top two pals, pets that you need with your archer. There's no way around it. Those are the ones you need to use. So this is the one you need, the metamorphic crystal. Now, down here, this uh, is kind of another must also, the stellar statue. Some people are using the time statue uh for disarm dazzled smoke bomb this is one you would use earlier in game before you do get the uh, worldly snare once you get worldly snare like it's a different game you have to put this statue on and the necklace over here so there's basically this one that you need and there's no if ands about it you need this one because it helps summon units, and one of your skills you're going to need to use is Clone. Clone is so OP, so you need this Storm Necklace. Every single class, no matter what you are, this is the necklace you're going to be using. Let's get off of this. Let's go into Souls. And I don't want to talk too much about Souls because you're going to get the same eight. But... 
the one thing we got to talk about is which one are you going to level up? And for me, this was the most important one. It uh, gave me global combo, global attack and healing. That is the one that you want. This is the most important one. Back accessories, the only tip I'll give here is get to 41. Because you can see at 38, 39, it's 2,800, 2,900, and then it shoots up to 6,000 something. So get to 41 on attack. Obviously, if you can get any of these wings, get them, but they aren't free. If you are gonna spend money on this game, spend responsibly, use the Aptoid App Store, get up to 35% off on all in-game purchases. Use the promo code MUSHROOM5. You can see me doing it in the background, and if you'd like to do so, the information how to do so is in the description to the video. Save money, put more in your pocket mount uh advanced mounts which one are you going to want this is the best one for archers right here in the rush event you can get it up here going into the rush shop this is the one you absolutely need to have for archers to use right now it's the best one out there but also this one you want to own not necessarily to use in battle but you want it for this passive skill 10% attack that's going to be working all the time for you. And then uh, that one's going to be good to ignore stun if you do end up going against mages. But anyways, let's get into other stuff here. Let's get to the most important stuff, the stuff that people really want to look at, and that is skills. So I do have the mushroom on. It's not something I'm going to have forever, but I have it right now because I'm missing uh, some skills and let's uh, talk about those now number one skill that everyone absolutely needs to have is clone strike this is just uh op it puts out a, it summons a replica of you that sits out front and takes all the damage basically for like the first like 10 seconds so it gives you another life and then another really good one for you is smoke bomb and one of the reasons why these are so good is because almost everyone you're going to face is, has blitz and you need to have blitz and look at this on blitz it gives damage immunity for three seconds if your opponents have this they can't be hurt for three seconds either so you got to look for skills that last longer than three seconds this one lasts five seconds so you get two seconds of extra damage out there and then worldly snare so this is Super important. You get it in the cross server war shop. It should be the first thing you're going to buy if you're an archer. You save up for this. Increase crit rate by 10%. For every 1% crit, gain an additional 3%. This lasts for five seconds. So uh, we get that in here into the family brawl. It's in here in exchange. Uh, you can see it's sold out. I can't buy it. This needs to be the first thing you're going to buy in this shop. Save up for it and then start buying shards down here to level it up after so let's get back into our skills and we've gone over blitz we've gone over smoke bomb we've gone over snare we've gone over clone and then after that the next one that you're really going to need is wind born arrow right here this one is in the cross server war shop so and inflict vulnerability for five seconds during this period any non-skill damage dealt to the target also applies an extra hundred percent so this is a very very strong skill and it's going to be something that you're going to want and it's in right here in the cross server shop so this should be what you're saving up for also right at the end you can see the skills or the the skills are here those are the shards so if it was 400 like it said i would have it i need 2000 to get it so those are basically the skills you're going to use there are backups that you can use if you don't have those wind gust is a pretty good one if you don't have it and notice one of the things is because attack for five seconds right you want to be outside that three second range of uh blitz and then the mushroom will help keep you alive that is a good one but the clone sort of does that as well so realistically i am a little op on the staying alive skills and i should probably be looking at adding more attack coin bomb is a very very good one early in the game as well and uh this is one that i do actually like a lot 
right here. It's not necessarily the best for archers, but if you're struggling against someone who has clone and blitz, this lasts for 10 seconds. So you're seven seconds outside of that uh, invincibility that blitz uh, drops on them. Let's get to the pals. We'll say straight up, I am missing the most important one two of the most important ones or they would be in there i'm missing octopus which increases combo but damage by 60 and other stuff on combo 200 and then i'm missing this guy this guy's also awesome so if you have this guy when hp is below 50 percent gain a shield equal to 30 then you don't need the mushroom because instead of starting with the mushroom at 20 percent because if we look at the mushroom right here the problem the main problem with the mushroom skill is that it's almost wasted at the start of the battle because it gives you 20% right away, right when the skills drop, right? So it can die. But luckily, I have Blitz, and that protects it. But if you don't have Blitz and you have Mushroom right away, 20% ain't that much protecting you. Maybe if you're a warrior, but as an archer, it's not. But if you have the Hipster Tortoise, he doesn't start to help you until you're getting weak so that helps a lot but it's really only going to happen once because it's a 60 second spell so i would have him on banana is a must counter damage 100 combo 10 percent. you basically can't play without octopus and banana and then you should have the hipster tortoise on so it gives you another skill option to get rid of that mushroom now another one that i really really like is right here the treasure dragon and that goes with the relic also that i pointed out so he increases crit damage and skill crit rate so he really really helps out archers especially if you're going to be in the sniper category, the shadow hunter area. So this, I like, I really like Warlord Hydro Sprite. I'm using him. I really like that he brings my skills back 25% faster. You know, that's some of them, that's five seconds faster if they're a 20 second skill. So it is something I really like. I do like the hero bird also for increasing my attack speed. And then right here, the snow general reduces enemy attack speed so i'm basically doubling down and i am speeding myself up while slowing down the enemy but when i get octopus and uh hipster tortoise you can bet that one of them is leaving this lineup and then i'll play around with leave re removing the other one and removing the uh the skill regeneration but I have to get those. Those are basically the seven, eight different pets that I would use in this game. There is one more that is good, and it is the bunny. He does increase the crit rate by 5%, and <clears throat> one third chance to basically stun the opponent. And stunning the opponent, that is super critical if you can get lucky enough to get it right when both of your skills are regenerating. So other times it's really not worth it, but at the start of the battle, you're going to battle someone, you're both going to drop blitz, then the countdown's on to who gets their skills next. So that's why I have skill regen 25%, and then I could also put bunny on and hope he launches them at that perfect time. Now, let's look at the statue. So my statue is here, and I've gone with three global combos and two global attacks. Some people think you should have a crit rate in here. I think that I'm better off with this, and I've got very, very good success with it. And I do recommend at least three global combos on here. And global attack, you know, I, I was considering going with a fourth combo or a crit, but I just rolled really high on two global attacks and decided to keep them, and it's working out well for me. But majority of your statue needs to be combo act. So which artifact should you have? you got to level this up. And there is no event. So you don't have to worry about saving up. Just level up as you get it. This is the best artifact for archers. If you can get your hands on it, it's actually the best artifact for everybody. Because you get one extra skill at the start. Now it sucks when they use blitz and you don't. it doesn't help you, right? So there, you're waiting for the next time around. But... This does 
actually it can double clone. So if you get lucky enough and it, it launches your clone, you can get two clones. So that's why it is really, really OP. The other ones are there. Uh, this one is good for uh, archers. And so is this one. And so is this one. But this one's the least good for archers, but it does lots. It confuses the enemy and makes them attack themselves. So, you know, you really can't go wrong with any of these artifacts. But one other thing here is what you need to focus on for archers is you need to go attack. Then you need to go HP. And you need to do that so you could get to combo damage. So this needs to be your path, your first path in archers that's your goal and just keep leveling it up keep going with that combo because combo is key for archers archers is all about attack combo crit so those are the things you need to focus on let me know in the comments what you guys think about this I theria the mobile shortcut to victory check us out at theriagames.com